here we're looking at a test flow in Power Automate in the cloud that's just set up to very simply run a desktop flow and at its conclusion depending on if it succeeded or failed or was skipped or timed out we have different outcomes that I have configured to run after the specific outcome so there is a success failure a skip or a timeout and I would like to have a different outcome for each I would like to receive an email to, to say it succeeded failed was skipped or has timed out after a failure I'd like to terminate the current run with a failure message after skipping I'd like to re-trigger the run um, and this because this is a test flow I'm not actually going to run it but you can see that after a success the bot is going to send an email to me to indicate success after a failure I'm going to get an email about it and the run is going to fail and show as a failure if the test is skipped I'll rerun the process and if it timed out I will send an email to that effect and these three outcomes success skipped or timeout the overall cloud run is going to show as a success but on this failure because I use this terminate action it's going to actually show as a failure and these different sequences can be as complex or as simple as you like. This is really just to illustrate that you can configure your flow to commit any number of, of actions after success or failure and not limit yourself to, uh, to one sequence of events.